Dear learners, now we will discuss a subtopic under publication misconduct entitled Misconduct made by the publishers, editors and peer reviewers. So, in times of publication, the publishers, editors and peer reviewers must have to follow certain rules certain norms and they should have to follow some ethics and guidelines so that they can do fair on their parts. Otherwise, the total process will be misguided. So, researchers honesty, researcher well conduct is seriously responsible for publishing the authentic production of articles, authentic production of research output, no doubt. But the publishers, editors and peer reviewers will have to follow or take care and sincerely they have to play their role so that a serious research output or publication of research literature may be produced with due care, with due sincerity and based on some honesty approach. But however, it is seen that they are not free from the publication misconduct. Sometimes they are involved in manipulations. They are doing manipulations. They are not fair in their activities. From different angles, their activities have been proved that they are doing misconduct on their part and as a result, the total research process, a part of the research process is properly impurized. We can say that sometimes they ignore the research integrity. Their research, the sense of research integrity is to be developed by themselves. Otherwise, the standard, otherwise the Fair conduct cannot be restored or established. Sometimes they want to achieve financial gain from the authors. At that times, they invite the precious scholars or authors and they are not sincerely playing their roles and they are taking money from the authors and they are publishing the research out. But here, your editors and the peer reviewers must have to check, must thoroughly read, thoroughly evaluate the research paper so that authentic research work, authentic research output, authentic research literature is being published in their publication. Great fault remains on their responsibility therefore in that sense. Normal relation or social relation sometimes affect the attitude and behavior of editors, publishers and peer reviewers in favor of their interacted candidates because both of them are human beings. Forget their responsibility to publish the creative work for the further betterment of society and as such they are doing the wrongful business in this publication process. Here, this behavior should be forget. So, ignore the false data, false analysis and so on and so forth due to their partial attitude which affects much the total publication process and its implication in society. If they are prepared in the interest of earning money, then the total process will be contaminated and as such, the original research work cannot be published at all. The false fabricated research, fabricated data 
has been introduced in the research paper, will be introduced in the research paper and that will come in the knowledge world. The uh, general user or the new research scholars will read these things and they will be misleading. So, therefore, this practice to be avoided. The publication misconduct is identified as a topic before undertaking a research study. Clear idea regarding the guidelines of the Council of Scientific Editors, International Committee of Medical Journal Editors, the Committee of Publication Ethics are much important in this respect and they have pointed some ideas how and these concepts are to be followed systematically and both the publishers, editors, peer reviewers will follow all these things so as to restore their sincere behavior and to produce the exact original report as research publication. They have to clear instruction to authors for peer review process, definition of authorship and a requirement of declaration against copyright, all these things they have to collect properly and accordingly they will judge and they will then report and evaluate whether the product, whether the literature have the proper quality to, to be produced in the periodical or not. They should have to render editorial freedom as well as clear instruction to peer reviewers also. They should have to carefully review regarding their, they have to follow their responsibilities and duties in regarding the reviewing the publication, reviewing the literature. Then editor's decision is important thing. Journal owners should have to follow the editor's decision regarding the publishing of particular article. Then publishers also should have to give the appropriate instruction regarding the editorial policies and processes of the journal. Editors should be free to evaluate the appropriateness of any paper that is yet to be published. Good understanding based on scientific integrity is to be established between editors and publishers as well as three points that is the editors, publishers and peer reviewers should have to be placed in one line, one straight line and they have a good, they make a good understanding among themselves. They will follow all the instructions so that the fairly, they can fairly produce the research literature. Then Committee of Publication Ethics acts as international forum for editors and publishers for peer reviewed journals. They have prescribed a code of conduct and best practices guidelines for publishing the article properly. They established by Mike Farthing, editor of GUT, International Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Then Richard Smith, editor of BMJ, British Medical Journal and Richard Horton, editor in chief, the Lancet Journal in April 1997 that guidelines on publication ethics. Even University Grants Commission has also provided guidance document on good academic research practices in September 2020. It is the recent document. So, all this to be followed properly. General framework for research integrity is most important. Various aspects of research ethics like research integrity has to be included. Dissemination of research output by selecting the right journal publication. That is also the most important concept in times of following these guidelines. Equally applicable to researchers, authors and members of editorial boards, journal managers and publishers. These guidelines will surely represent the standard for all these stakeholders. And we have to follow all these things for betterment. Then existence of predatory journals, a new platform for publication. So, new kind of journal publication inviting the authors to publish their literature by gaining some profits from authors. 
See here, authors must have to take care of these things, whether these journals are actually granted by the authentic body or not, that is the UGC, etc. Then very much reductant and they do not undertake any policy for ethical publication by the publisher. Here the researchers should have to take care and evaluate and examine very carefully, otherwise their function will be in misuse. They does not follow appropriate review mechanism, no peer review mechanism system is there, no editorial advisory board is there, etc. for maintaining the quality of the publication. So, existing pediatric journals are there and knowledge about these pediatric journals is one important thing on the part of the researcher. They are charging for processing as such for quick publication and some researchers are highly motivated and invited to publish their paper in these periodicals. So, that should be avoided. Then terms of pediatric journal equalize to fake journals, isn't it? So, here also we have to take care and see the matters. The term has been coined by Jeffrey Bell, librarian from the University of Colorado. Predatory publishers are corrupting open access. Nowadays, uh, all the researchers are publishing not only in printed materials, but also in digital systems, digital media. So, therefore, the, here the predatory publishers are coming and they are inviting the, publish, uh, the researchers and they are guiding the researchers. So, therefore, open access journal system in this digital era extends a wide opportunity for publisher no doubt and digital era provided this open access, open access is a really a great idea for publication and for greater diffusion throughout the world. So, therefore, we should have to accept this uh, system, we should have to follow this system no doubt, but we have to take care and we have to follow the rules and regulation as given by the authentic authority or body regarding this publication matter. So, publication issues and uh, other things to be followed very carefully so that we can as you have carefully produced our research work similarly our research output will be produced in a sincere journal and all the publishers, editors and repair reviewers uh, will make a concerted effort so as to establish the standard practices and avoiding the misconduct and thereby and the total function of the educational process and research process, research publication activity and process may earn the honor from the society.